Let us do one question which was asked in IES paper 2023, question 9b. A researcher estimated an employment equation N with the GDP G, education E, and the price P. Employment is regressed upon GDP, education, and price. You are also given with the T statistics. So you can see these numbers which are written out here, these are the T statistics. The unadjusted R square is 0 0.97 and N is 16. This is given to you. The first question says that interpret the estimated coefficients. So you look at uh, the, the GDP first. So how is GDP going to be interpreted? So just, just think about it. If GDP is going to increase by one unit, there is there are no units given to you. One, first of all, you have to understand this. So you can just write this in terms of units. So if GDP increases by one unit, employment increases by 0 0.06 units, keeping other things constant. Now, this seems reasonable. Why? Because in case if there is an increase in economic output, then employment is going to increase. So this seems completely reasonable. This is as per intuition. What about education? If education increases by one unit, the employment is going to be going to decrease by 0 0.01 units. Now, this is counterintuitive. Generally, this is not seen. So if education is going to increase, you'll be more skilled and the employment is going to increase in the economy. This is what is this is what is generally seen. But here uh, the problem is coming. Then this guy, if prices increases by one unit, then employment is going to fall by 19.8 units. This also could be said that, OK, fine, we can uh, we can intuitively say that this might be right. Why? Because in case the prices are going to increase, then what is going to happen is that the demand is going to fall. If demand is going to fall, then employment is going to fall. So this is intuitive, completely fine. But then there are problems in the estimation. This is the second part of the question which says that identify the problems in estimation. Ab kya problems ho sakte hai? One, the sample size is very small, just 16 data points. With 16 data points, you are running the regression. You are bound to have problems, right? So the estimates which you are going to get, those will be very unreliable. And uh, so you cannot just rely on them. So that is the first problem. Second problem, there is a problem of uh, overfitting. R square is 0 0.97. There is a problem of overfitting. What do you mean by that? You have actually taken up the sample, which is going to give you the good results overall. So you are saying in your sample, all the independent variables, they, they explain 97% of the variability in the dependent variable. This generally is not seen, right? So this is the problem of overfitting. Then there is a problem with the education sign. You can just have a look at this. One, it has a wrong sign. This is not intuitive that if education is going to increase, employment is going to decrease. This is not what you see. And then the T statistic is very low. The rule of thumb is that in case of the modulus of T statistic is less than one, right? So that is insignificant. One, you have a wrong sign for the education coefficient. Two, you have a very low T statistic. This can be the problem and you cannot just draw any kind of meaningful conclusions from here. So that is a problem, right? That is a problem. You cannot draw any inference between the education and employment. So how education is going to, uh, going to drive employment. Then there is the another problem. The another problem is also of the multicollinearity. Although the, the point is that you do not have any information about the correlation coefficient between the different independent variables. Just say you do not have the relation between GDP and price, GDP and uh, education, right? Employment and price. So you do not have the correlation between these variables. But you can you can think that, okay, fine. I guess they can be correlated. How? You look at GDP and price. So generally what is being seen is that in case if economic output is going to increase, that is GDP is going to increase, prices are going to increase. With an increase in GDP, with an increase in income, 
people are going to buy more things their demand is going to increase hence prices are going to increase inflation is going to be there higher gdp <clears throat> then there can be the relationship between gdp and employment also these are the relation between the independent variables right so higher gdp can lead to higher investment in education this is also seen although we do not have the proper uh, correlation coefficient data but this is also seen then there can be several omitted variables also you may not have included those variables uh, which are important and uh, they could have been correlated with this right so that can also influence multi multicollinearity but then the question arises that how can you improve upon this estimation one is first and foremost you have to increase the sample size the moment you are going to increase the sample size it is going to improve the robustness of the estimation right that is one thing investigate the omitted variable bias or the functional form misspecification particularly regarding the unexpected sign of the education question matlab you have to see are you are you omitting some important variable in this right you will have to see that or is there is is there a problem with a functional form you have just taken a normal linear form is there a logarithmic form is there an interaction term which can be there is there a polynomial form so all of that because one the uh, unexpected sign of the education coefficient is coming then what are the different causes of the multicollinearity among the independent variables right you will have to find out those causes also you can also explore the other functional forms like what if you can include the gdp and education ka interaction term if you include the another term gdp into education then this is going to capture what this is going to capture the how gdp on employment is going to be affected i mean how gdp is going to affect the employment depending on varying the education levels right so that is the interaction term which can come then you can also have a squared terms of gdp squared terms of education squared terms of prices it can tell you something about the curvature of the relationship with employment uh, so these things could be the uh, could be could be used to improve upon the estimation right so i hope it was useful to you thank you